<laughs> Donovan, Donovan, Donovan McNabb. So, Donovan McNabb feels like he belongs in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And to prove his point, he mentioned uh, former Dallas Cowboys quarterback uh, slash Hall of Famer Troy Aikman. Here's what Donovan McNabb had to say regarding why he believes he belongs to the Hall of Fame. He said that my numbers are better than Troy Aikman. I'm not hesitating on that. I am a Hall of Famer. My numbers speak for themselves. Well, speaking of Donovan McNabb's numbers, let's compare those numbers to um, Troy Aikman's numbers since he bought Troy Aikman. Donovan McNabb for his NFL career has 234 career touchdown passes. He has 117 career interceptions. He has 37,276 uh, passing yards. He has an 85.6 passer rating. He has a 59.0 completion percentage. He has 3,459 rush yards. He has 29 rushing touchdowns. Here are Troy Aikman's um, career numbers. Troy Aikman for his NFL career has 4,715 pass attempts. He has 2,898 pass completions. He has a completion percentage of 61.5. Um, he, has, he has 165 career touchdowns. He has 141 career interceptions. He has 32,942 passing yards and a passer rating of 81.6. So, those are the numbers right there compared to one another. Um, statistically, yes, Manab definitely did have a, you know, better numbers than Troy Aikman overall. The only, the only thing that Troy Aikman beats Manab in um, would be the, um, the, yeah, the completion percentage. That's it. That's the only thing that he does beat Manab in. But... The reason why Troy Aikman is in the Hall of Fame and Don McNabb is not in the Hall of Fame is plain and simple. Troy Aikman is a uh, three-time Super Bowl champion. Don McNabb has zero Super Bowl champion, championships. Now, as somebody who grew up watching McNabb, you know, grew up watching the Eagles during the Don McNabb era, you know, I, 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 I looked up to Don McNabb. I truly did. He was, you know, he was my, you know, one of my favorite players in the league growing up, you know. My, my my favorite player, of course, was was Brian Dawkins. That's that's who inspired me. That's who inspired me, and the reason why I became an Eagles fan. But I did look at the Donovan McNabb as well. I enjoyed watching Donovan McNabb play. You know, Donovan McNabb, you know, definitely what you know he he could put on the show, but he can also um, disappoint the living the hell out of you. You know, Donovan McNabb, you know, went to what five NFC title games, only went to one Super Bowl. You know, just just multiple time, you know, multiple time choker. He just could not get it done when it mattered the most. It wasn't just him, obviously. Um, got got to give Andy Reid blame for that too, because Andy Reid, you know, just as a continues to choke when it matters the most. Um, you no know, Kansas City Chiefs fans are seeing that now. Like uh, Andy Andy Reid will win you a lot of regular season games, but when it matters the most, you're not going to win the big game. He's going to choke, and that's what Andy Reid has done to Kansas City, and of course. Before that, Philadelphia. Now, like I said, man, I grew up watching um, Nap. I grew up somewhat looking up to him. You know, I enjoyed watching the guy play. He gave us some good moments, but he gave us a lot of disappointing moments. You know, just could not win that championship, man. Super Bowl 39, I'll never forget it, man. Terrell Owens was um, playing with a broken ankle, playing his ass off, man. Would have been the MVP if the Eagles won that Super Bowl. He would have been. Nap, on the other hand, was playing like shit for most of the game and when it came down to it he threw a he, he threw a costly interception to Rodney Harrison uh, he was he was puking on the field puking camel soup I guess he ate too much camel soup before that game and he was puking camel soup on the field he could have been a hero Manab could have been a hero he could have been the first player to bring a um, Labardi trophy to Philadelphia he could have been the first quarterback to bring a Labardi trophy to Philadelphia but he choked when it mattered the most and that's why you know that's that's why he would he um if he does go into Hall of Fame it will not be anytime soon. He's gonna have a long long wait and I mean a long wait because you got so many big names who are coming out um who are come you know who are up for Hall of Fame you no know, consideration and will get in before he does. So um yeah you know if he does get in the Hall of Fame I think it's gonna be a long time from now. I mean, look at look at um, Stabler, Ken Stabler. Um, that guy did not get into the Hall of Fame until he died. 
he waited so many decades to be inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and he did not get the call until he um until he passed away. His family got the call, I should say. And that guy was a Super Bowl champion. He had a ring. So Manab has zero rings. How long does Manab think he's gonna have to wait if Ken Stable did not did not hear the call during his lifetime? How long does Manab think he's gonna wait? Yes, um, I don't like to defend Cowboys. I don't like to defend the Cowboys or any of their former players. But Manab, but, but, but Manab has zero championships, while Troy Aikman has three Super Bowl championships. Three Super Bowl championships beat zero Super Bowl championships. And that's the reason why Aikman's in the Hall of Fame and you're not Donovan Manab. Um, would I like to see Don Manab going to the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. I would love to see another Eagles, you know, another Eagle going to the Hall of Fame. But when Manab is going to be, it's going to be quite a while, if ever, that he hears that call. No, I, I, I hope it, I hope it doesn't come down to this, but it could be like Ken Stabler, who, who waited decades and, and never heard it. You know, they, they decided only after he passed away to induct them. It could be the same for Manab. I hope not. I hope one day I can say that we have another Eagles player in the Hall of Fame. I definitely hope so. But it's not going to be anytime soon. You just got so many big names who are due um, in induction coming up. And there's no way in the hell Manab is going to be picked over those guys. There's just no way in hell it's going to happen. So, once again, yes, he does have better numbers than Troy Aikman. Regular season numbers, yes. But, but Troy Aikman got the job done when it mattered the most. Troy Aikman delivered three Super Bowl championships to the Dallas Cowboys. And that puts a bad taste in my mouth. I hate to defend the Cowboys. I hate to defend any of their players. But Troy Aikman is a three-time Super Bowl champion. Manab, you have zero. I'm sorry, that's just the way it goes, man. They, they judge you by how the success you had, how many championships you won. That's just a part. That's just a part of the evaluation. They're gonna judge you by how many championships you won, and they have been judging you by how many championships you won. And you won zero. You had the opportunity to bring the first Safari Trophy to Philadelphia, and you choked when it mattered the most. There's no other way to put it. You choked when it mattered the most. Just plain and simple, man. So. Um, maybe one day I grew up watching you, man. Nab, I grew up, you know, um, loving, the, somewhat idolizing you, man. You know, you were definitely, you know, obviously, you know, my favorite quarterback in the league because you were, you were a quarterback for my team, of course. But statistically, you know, yes, you are better. You do have a better career. You did have a better career than Troy Aikman. But when it comes down to it, they judge by how many rings you have on that finger, and you have zero on that finger. It's just that it's just that simple. You have zero rings on that finger. And if you do go in the Hall of Fame, it definitely is not gonna be anytime soon. There's 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 big name players coming up who are do a Hall of Fame induction, and you're not gonna be picked over them. But you guys in the comment section, of course, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Diamond Nab is a pro football Hall of Famer? Do you think he has a point that, you know, because he has better numbers than Troy Aikman, who's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame? Do you think that he should be in the Hall of Fame due to a bad, due, due to have a better regular season numbers? Because that's what Manab was. He was a great regular season quarterback. True, um, no, he was a great regular season quarterback. Andy Reid's a great regular season coach. But when it came down to, you know, the big game, bringing that Labari Trophy to Philadelphia, both of these men just could not get it done. They had the opportunity to be. No, to bring the first championship to Philadelphia. Of course, we know the first the first quarterback and coach tandem, you know, duo to do that was um of course, um Doug Peterson and Nick Foles. You can also throw uh, Carson Wentz in there because Carson Wentz his play set us up for that. So, but you know, yeah, they could have been the first quarterback and head coach duo to bring the bring a Lombardi Trophy to Philadelphia. But Don Bennett was on the field. Um, choking camel, you know he was he was choking, uh, puking camel soup on the field. Um, through, through, through that costly game in the interception to Rodney Harrison, and that was the only that was the only chance he that was his only time in the Super Bowl. You know he never got back to the Super Bowl after that. He got back to the NFC title game back in 2008, but then he choked again against the Cardinals. Manab just could not get it done when it mattered the most. And T.O. played his ass off. Like I said, he would have been MVP. But the Eagles did not win that game. It wasn't T.O. fault whatsoever. Manab just could not get the job done. Better, num better numbers than Troy Aikman. But Troy Aikman has three championships, Super Bowl championships. You have zero Super Bowl championships. And, they and that's a big part of the evaluation. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame right now. And you're not Manab. But, yeah, you guys let me know you guys think in the comment section. As always, go Birds. Spunky Nights 9-1 is out of here. Fly, Eagles, fly. Peace.